Hello, Internet, and uh, yes. welcome yes. back to Anti Heroes Anonymous, or welcome for the first time if it's your first time joining us. I'm Ethan, and I'm the Dungeon Master for this 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons show. Uh, and going around the table, we have uh, four lovely players who will now introduce themselves, starting with Nick. Hi, I'm Nick. I play Thaddeus Hammerlock, the Human Vengeance Paladin. Hi, I'm Kay. I play Harmony, who is a Tiefling Wild Magic Sorcerer. And I'm Melissa, and I play Mara, who is a Human Rogue Pirate. I'm Zach, and I play Hunter, who's a Warforged Fighter Ranger. Uh, so a couple quick announcements, we'll get out of the way and then recap and then get right into the game. Um, we stream on Twitch every Monday at 7pm Pacific Time, and then post those episodes to YouTube the following Wednesday. Uh, throughout the show we use a variety of custom items, as well as a brand new, uh, updated custom Wild Magic table. Um, our music comes from BattleBards, Tabletop Audio, and Incompetech. And if you're watching us on Twitch, you can check the channel page for links and info about everything I just mentioned. Um, and then if you're watching on YouTube, you can check the video description for very similar information. Uh, and then if you still want more, such as when we're going live and things like that, uh, you can follow us on Twitter at AntiHeroesAnon. Uh, and other than that, we just hope you enjoy the show. And uh, if you do, that you come back and keep watching. Uh, so a little bit of recap, and we'll get straight into things. Uh, the party is on an island known as Kamehame Island in order to look for a magical compass that will supposedly guide them uh, eastward through a uh, poisonous or um, acidic or, you know, just very dangerous black fog, not frog, that uh, enshrouds the entire region. Um, while on Kamehame Island, they've explored shrines to the White Tiger Byako and the Azure Dragon Seiryu. Um, and inside each of them, they overcame a trial and claimed an artifact, which presented a riddle. Uh, however, uh, after exploring those two shrines, uh, Harmony was captured by Mercer Nightclaw, a Raks Rakshasa, <laughs> and uh, the murderer of Mara's parents. Um, the others follow followed Harmony's tracks and killed Mercer. Uh, temporarily, but being a Rakshasa, he will probably reform and come back angrier than ever. Yep. Um, they yep, then to to took it. control of both the sailing vessel The Drowning Kiss and the Bronze Worm, uh, with Mara inheriting the Drowning Kiss from its previous captain. Yes. Uh, captain. And then captain. they went and traded in some heads for a oh. magical dagger with a <laughs> creepy grung, who they'd made a deal with previously. Um, and left him sort of staring at a pool of acid as the heads <laughs> dissolved in it. Very creepy. Uh, and then lastly, the party took a long rest and is starting to suffer the ill effects of madness that this island uh, tends to produce in people who stay in there too long. Um, and I'm trying to remember, Harmony was hallucinating. Yep. Mara was very sad for a while, but I think you're like over a couple minutes. Right? Yeah, and Hunter is shaky. Oh, yeah, and Hunter has the uncontrollable shakes that he just can't stop for some reason. I can't uh, remember how long the duration. Mine was, was ten hours. Yours was five hours. Was five hours. And mine was like six minutes. I looked at it again later. Technically, the table is for for the duration of madness that you guys have is one d ten times ten hours. So yours should be a hundred hours. Oh, uh, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. <laughs> I like mine better. That's it, ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that would be insane. That would start falling off. Rotating. Yeah. <laughs> just from the vibration. Yeah. <laughs> so I went with just that one to ten hours. hours. And I like I would just be a pile yeah. of bolts and nuts. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hunter is dismantled. Oh, my God. Uh, so we left off with the party heading out uh, oh down the beach towards the... Um, shrine, which is situated on the very edge of the beach, um, which is comprised of like red stones and things like that, and decorated at the top with a statue of a bird. Um, the shrine that is very clearly dedicated to Suzaku, the vermilion bird, uh, spirit of the Elder Haven Reaches. And that's where we were going to pick up. <laughs> Let me just get some music and we'll get started. Hey, that's my line. You're done though, you're not crying anymore. <laughs> You should be shrieking. <laughs> Yay! That's my hallucinations. Yeah. Don't get close right now. Let's give it a second. It'll get too hot. Okay. Uh, so as you are trudging down the beach, 
um, Harmony. Uh, <laughs> Mother no, Midnight. Stop. Hallucinations of Mother Midnight, the Night Hag uh, tormentor of yours, and Thomas Cranston, someone who killed previously at Ravenmoor, yep. are basically just walking next to you. And uh, Mother Midnight is just constantly whispering taunts in your ears, and Thomas Cranston just kind of shambles uh, his burnt corpse down the beach alongside you. I'm just walking like this. <laughs> and you come to the entrance of this redstone structure, which is very similar in shape and size to the other ones, um, except that the archway in front of it is decorated with all of these hanging colored jungle bird feathers, and um, the outside of the shrine uh, uh, is decorated with, basically over the, in an archway over the door, um, is decorated with some ancient keen writing which Hunter can translate as, the passionate followers of Suzaku are reborn in fire and do not fear it. When all of Suzaku's followers are reborn, Defeat fire's greatest foe and surrender yourself to the flame. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Yeah, you're gonna have to say that like four more times. Dogs. Um, the passionate followers of Suzaku are reborn in fire and do not fear it. When all of Suzaku's followers are reborn, defeat fire's greatest foe and surrender yourself to the flame. When all of Suzaku's followers are reborn in fire defeat and do not fire's fear greatest it. foe and surrender yourself to the flame. Yep. All I've got is passionate followers of Suzaku. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> I, I think I've got it all. Yeah. Nick's got the main points. Yeah. I know. Okay. I think I've got it all. Right. I see. Yes. Uh, and then, like the other ones, it's got these heavy stone doors that are set in place. Um, That's it. It's got these heavy stone doors that are set in place. They look like they'd be, uh, they would require a significant amount of strength to pull open. Alright. Well, just like last time, I'm guessing Thaddeus and I would step up to the plate. Yeah. Well, I'm a bit shaky, but I would give it a shot. Let's make sure everyone is clustered together. I'll definitely be next to you while okay. we do this. Are you sure I shouldn't be doing this because I have resistance to fire damage? Well, I think okay. we'll definitely want you first up testing what is everything there. But for these doors, it's just you and me. Here. All right. So I have disadvantage. Right? Uh, yep. But if Thaddeus is helping you, you'd have advantage. So it'd yeah. be a straight roll. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, scratch that. I was wrong about how this works. Um, your strength or strength scores combined are higher than um, thirty, so you can actually pull it open just working oh. together. Okay. Check. Great. So. I like not having to do checks when it does advantage. Um, and yeah, so the doors <laughs> grind open, um, sort of pushing back the surf that is lapping against them at the edge okay. of the beach. Right. And you can see a stairway descending down, just like the other ones. It goes maybe like 10, 15 feet before it levels out. Is there a light inside? No, it's, um, it's pretty dark. Uh, well, there's a few cracks in the ceiling and things like that, um, which provide maybe dim light in there, but... Alright, then I'll take out my sword and light. Yep. Harmony, do you want to leave the light? You are fire resistant, as you mentioned. I am fire resistant, but I'm also seeing Mother Midnight everywhere. She's not real. She's real! <laughs> she's not really here, um, but she's real! As, as you say that, uh, you sort of turn to look at her, and Mother Midnight is gone, but a, a tall tiefling woman um, is standing next to you, and you, you recognize her as your mother, and she says, I certainly wouldn't be afraid to go in first. And gives you a disapproving look and crosses her arms. I puff out my chest and I walk in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, you descend down the stairs to the bottom. Alright. Going very carefully. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow her. Looking I'll, for yeah. traps and stuff. Okay, roll Take a perception check. Okay! okay. <laughs> What's Mara's charisma score? Oh, me. <laughs> Charisma is 14. 14? Uh, as you and Hunter begin to enter, I need each of you to make a Charisma saving throw. Great. My perception check? Yeah, plus four to that this. one. I have purple. So three total? You have plus four to this. Okay. Um, what do I have to spend against? I have, it's, it's attack rolls, mm -hmm. saving throws, 
and ability checks. So, so pretty throws much well, everything. Or is it, okay, it's everything. Okay. Isn't it just with those two scores then? Oh, right, right, right. But it's just strength and dexterity. Yeah. Okay, great. So you're good. Okay, so I got a... Charisma check or a charisma saving? Saving throw. So I got a 23. Okay. So, so I, I got a 9. 7 plus 4. Oh, 7 plus 4, so 11. 11. Okay, so as Hunter brushes past you, Mara, uh, you find yourself unable to set foot over the threshold of this shrine. Oh, I'll turn around and make Mara, what's wrong? Just I'm for stacked. some reason, your feet won't move beyond this point. Hang on, guys. Stacked. The shrine won't let me in. Mara can't enter. Why not? I'm not sure. Do what I know any lore well, for reasoning why did this would happen? Did come with us? Mm, good question. Where is she? She, she, she was to. just, she was just uh, chilling last night. Yeah, I mean, she can come in or she, it's up to her, really. I feel like she would, if she was with us, she would have been riding up above on Spark. I wouldn't want her to do style. that because that's like a beacon showing everybody yeah, where we're at. True. Okay. Because that fucking priest is still on the island somewhere. Well, I guess I'll have, have to guard the entrance, guys. All right. Well, you can, see, you you can still kind of see down, but any sort of checks you do to perceive anything or anything like that are going to be at a little bit of disadvantage. Okay. From where you're at. Do we have this problem with the other ones too? You have your earring though, so you could. You guys have managed we to pass all, all the saves up checks. to this point. The, the first one was. A saving and being frightened, and then you can't be frightened. Right, so that was a non issue. And then the second one was just water. Okay, right. the purple's not I feel like breathing. there was a saving throw. There was there, a save. We did, was there? we passed But everyone it. passed it, yeah. just yeah. Okay. So now, okay. Okay, well, you've got, you got Milan Sparkle, you've got the way on. And you have your errand, so you can contact us. Don't worry, Mara. Oh, that's the wrong voice. Wow. <laughs> I was trying to go for Oriana Hartwood, and I went all the way to like Nazria. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> Uh, don't you worry, Mara. I'll be right here. With you. It's good to know. Okay. She's kind of like, sidles up next to you and leans up against the wall of the shrine. Uh, takes out a sketchbook and is, is writing some things down. We'll be right back. And I'll have him. You made berries this morning? Yes. Okay, so they're still good. Yeah, I've got two more. I've got two. Yeah, two, three, three, two. I was two. looking if I had anything. Just the typical distribution I'm going with. I guess yeah. I can just do... I have three. Yeah, I can just do twos and give two to Oriana too, I guess. She's with us. Well, Mara has some, so yeah, that fine. should be enough for the two of them. All right, let's go! Okay. All right. Um, as you get down to the bottom of the stairs, Harmony, uh, you are just taken aback by everything that you see there, yep. and it all kind of washes over you. Yeah. Well, um, I think I'm also distracted because of the stupid <laughs> visions. Do I have di what, do, what do I have disadvantage on with those? Oh, I don't remember. I can go find out, though. Um... Is it like ability checks? Disadvantage on ability. Yep. Ability checks. So I, I would have had disadvantage on that goodness anyway, for Melissa's but I rolled yeah. a one, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, as you look around in here, all of you, the things that you can see, obviously, um, is that it's like a 20-foot circular room, sort of like the other ones. Um, and... Uh, it's, the walls seem to be uh, carved with iconography of birds in flight, and um, there's a and, and they're covered in like creepers and things like that that are singed a little bit. Um, and then there's a circle in the center of the room, which is surrounded by statues. Um, and each of the statues around it, there's let's see, four of them. Uh, yeah, there, there's four statues around it. Um, and each of the statues is a samurai warrior in looks, uh, with like carved armor and helmets and uh, face masks, face masks that seem to resemble different creatures. Um, however, each of the armors are carved with similar icons of the birds in flight. Um, in the center of that circle, there is a small floating rain cloud which just seems to constantly be raining on the floor in the center of the circle. Um, Armin, what'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me, I promise. This happened before. <laughs> that one wasn't me. Thaddeus had snow last time. Is that fl fire as great as foe? It's possible. Uh, and then at the back of the room is a relief, just like you've seen in the other temples, of a, a great bird wrapped in combat. Uh, you don't know shit. <laughs> locked in combat with a eight-headed serpent. And all of their eyes are gems. So... I have to say, this is my favorite one so far. 
you think you can catch all four of those in a fireball? All four of the statues, yeah. Seems like it's what the riddle is asking us to do. Can you read it again one more time? Um, the passionate followers of, followers of Suzaku are reborn in fire and do not fear it. When all of Suzaku's followers are reborn, defeat fire's greatest foe and surrender yourself to the fight. So notably, each of their armors have the icons of birds in flight, but there are face masks. Uh, two of them have face plates that resemble uh, like beaked turtles. Uh, one of them resembles a tiger, and one of them resembles a dragon. Mm. Okay, so those are the guardians. So the bird's foe is the turtle, apparently. Right? If we but, if we go back to the yeah, that's true. to the other shrine. But who so was, I wonder if Fire's greatest foe is the one wearing the turtle mask. Who is the who are the friends? Um The turtle and the tiger are friends, and the bird and the dragon are friends. Although technically if we didn't go to that shrine before this one, how would we know that? Maybe mythology? Aren't they, aren't they standalone? I don't know, would I know any other? Uh, you made a check in the shrine previously, and there's no, like, to your knowledge, um, nothing that talks about them having enemies amongst themselves. Sure. Um, everything you know about them is that they unified together to fight right. against the eight-headed serpent, which followed them into this world. So maybe we just need to set on fire two of them? The bird Sorry. and the friend of bird? The followers of Suzaku? Well, I mean, I could set all of them on fire, and then we definitely get the followers, and we'd get the non-followers, and only the followers of the I'm not, I guess we could, go, we could do both, right? Yeah. Would it take much magic to do both? I mean, I can cast one spell and get all of them, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of room for you to engulf this entire room in a fireball. Heather, a fireball could you just do it individually and one after the other real quick? I mean, yeah, I can cast Firebolt on each one, and then I wouldn't have to expend any spell slots. Maybe yeah, we should try that instead. Alright, let's do that then. Which one should I aim for first? Let's do the, the two that are a suspect first, and then see if anything happens, and then do the other two if yeah. nothing happens. So the two that we the think bird that are... And who's the bird's friend? Suzaku and Sadie. Yeah. Well, okay. there's, there's no animal... There's no samurai statue that has a faceplate that looks like a bird. Oh, so there's. Well, uh, sorry, I lost. Is it a beak turtle? Uh, oh, yep, there's a tiger. Two resemble turtles. One looks like a tiger, and one looks like a dragon. So the dragon. We just attack the dragon. Okay, yeah. Maybe. Okay. I'll firebolt the one with the dragon mask. Okay. Um, as you firebolt the one with the dragon mask, um, its faceplate area uh, alights with flame and burns for about six seconds or so. Um, and as that happens also, it kind of has its hand on the hilt of its sword, and the hilt of its sword lights up kind of like a torch. Um, and it's uh, when the fire in its faceplate diminishes, you can see that its faceplate has changed to that of a beaked bird. Um, okay. But the fire at the hilt of its sword, which uh, was burning like a torch, um, gets immediately extinguished by there's the rain cloud which was in the center of the circle right basically water comes shooting at a really weird angle like straight mm -hmm. out from the uh, rain cloud mm -hmm. and just whoosh, douses that torch well that one's been reborn that's that's what it wants when all the seduction followers are reborn okay you can see the, the face plate change right that makes sense okay so is this like a zelda puzzle and you have to get them all lit at the same time <laughs> maybe not <laughs> before the water douses it or should we take care of the rain cloud first and then light all of the swords up i think because i think he was reborn but then he was dead again because his sword went out i don't know did, that, did the faceplate change back uh the faceplate stayed as a bird okay i don't know it's it's hard to say part of it I think well, I can just do the rest shoot fire at the rest of them, and if, if nothing happens, then we can do something about the rain do cloud. The, uh, do the tiger next. Okay. You firebolt the, uh, the 
tiger statue, and a similar thing happens where the faceplate lights up with fire. I'm and just going to the... do the two turtles without waiting to be told to as okay. well. <laughs> um, sequentially, all of the faceplates uh, change after the fire fades. The uh, tiger changes to a turtle, and the two turtles change to a dragon. Oh, I see. Uh, and their torches light up, but then are doused by the rain. I'm going to hit the two dragons. Okay, and they... Again, light up and turn into the bird faceplate, but uh -huh. their torches are again doused by the uh -huh. rain cloud. Alright, I'll just hit the turtle twice. Uh, and as. Uh, yep, as you do that, there's uh, one flash of fire as it turns to a dragon, and then another flash of fire as it turns to a bird, and the torch is uh, twice extinguished by the rain cloud, and as all of the uh, four birds are now aligned together looking into the center of the circle, um, there's a faint shimmer of movement around the rain cloud, and as uh, this occurs, you realize that there's actually a glass body encasing the rain cloud, and uh, a rain golem attacks. <laughs> a rain golem? <laughs> Oh, uh, so roll initiative. <laughs> All right. uh, Mari, you should roll it too, even though you're outside the shrine, because you can throw it. Do I have disadvantage on initiative, or is it just normal? Look at what I rolled. It's, uh, it is an ability it's check. It's an ability check, so yeah. Two of them. Don't worry, you can't do more. Ethan, uh, I, I rolled two ones. Whoa. So since I'm outside, I just roll one. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Two ones. All right. <laughs> I actually didn't have to erase that because it's the same as the last time I rolled. This is the world's slowest man. Yep. Uh, I think I the one, rain so golem is slower. Better than me. Wow, really? really? Yeah. I have no bonus to initiative. Oh. <laughs> what did you roll? Oh, I'll put this is going to be the weirdest initiative because the rain golem has a two as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Does that mean I get to go first? Um, Even though I rolled like an eight. Well, I don't know. Mara might go first. Two, three, I rolled a 14, so with my bonus, you go. it's a 20. All in order. Well, there you go. <laughs> A lot I can do from outside. <laughs> you might throw the fire inside. Yeah, yeah well, okay. she, I don't think she can see down into the... Uh... Well, she can. Just not very well. Yeah. Kind there's short. there's a light down here. Yeah. So, Mara, you can see it illuminated by Thaddeus' torchlight as it starts to move. The vague uh, shape of a human, but much, much bigger. Uh, and it seems to be a like almost like a glass or crystalline structure encasing this rain cloud which was just constantly raining that has now started to move and is about to go and throw a punch at one of your uh, team members. Did what you want you me like to draw to anything? Okay. No, we'll just do the Okay, okay well first. let's see if I can aim my short bow at him. Okay. Okay, so I think it's fine. How big is the room? 21. Oh, I should have rolled for glory on a heartwood. Uh, 21 is going to hit. Gloriana rolled a natural 20 for initiative, so she'll go after him. Do we get sneak attack since I'm outside? Uh, uh, well, is it, it within melee range of us? Uh, it hasn't come within melee range yet. Yeah, so, so no. no. Okay. okay, so 10. Oh, Piercing. Not match, Yeah. We could roll this. Is that the barbed arrow? Or is that a regular arrow? Yeah, let's use a barbed one. What that. does that do again? Does that do anything uh, special to it? It reduces its speed by 10, I think. Okay. Uh, rain golem, let's see. Uh, yeah, the arrow hits it, but it kind of like clatters off of the, the crystalline structure that it's made out of uh, and doesn't seem to do a ton of damage. Uh, so you said how much was it? 10? 10. Okay, so. Okay. Um, Gloriana then uh, looks down and sees that uh, a fight is brewing. What can she do? Can she make it in? Uh, she didn't try. But she is actually going to try to step in. Actually, what is her charisma? Uh, uh, she's fine. She doesn't have to make a check. She can just step in. Uh, she steps down into the like stairway. Yeah. Uh, and... Wait, you guys gonna have to make a check? Yeah. Oh yeah, you just make it. Because our Christmas cards are kind of. Oh. Yeah. Uh, she runs up and oh. taps Harmony on the back. Oh. Um, 
and says, uh, Be brave, Lady Luck, and uh, cast the heroism spell oh. on you. Uh, so you gain... You're immune to being frightened, which probably won't be too important, but you gain... Immune to being frightened from her daymares. Right? Yeah, does that have an effect on my hallucinations? Not all of them are frightening. That's true. You're They're still... just distracting. Mm -hmm. uh, Unless you're disapproving mom. <laughs> you gain four temporary hit points, so that could be... All right. But it's something. Hey, that takes me from 77 to 81. Actually, I'm just going to add plus four over here. And then it is your turn, Harmony. Um, as your turn rolls around and you're starting to see that this rain golem is uh, coming to life, uh, your mother kind of turns to you and says, I mean, it was obvious that it was there, right? You saw it, right? <laughs> I'd be like, shut up, mother! And I'm going to cast oh. Hold Monster. Okay. Mother never leaves you. <laughs> No wild magic. It's a wisdom? It's something. Yes. Oh, this is Gloriana, not the rain golem. <laughs> I was like, why does the rain golem have such a high charisma? <laughs> uh, oh, in which case, it just barely fails. Rolled an 18. Nice. So All it right. is held in place. It's paralyzed, which means y'all have advantage on me. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Hunter, your turn. How big is the room? Uh, it's like oh, a 20 I'd foot like radius to thing. Back up. To, well, if Gloriana's right there, that's just fine. I'm going to back up to just the bottom of the stairs, like as far as I can. Okay. So Paralyze gives... Um, you guys get advantage. Um, they are they can't move. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just make some... Uh, I'll, I'll unsheath my sword and shield, and then I'll make some melee attacks at disadvantage, but with advantage, I guess. What? So regular rolls. Oh, regular oh, rolls. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, then it's a good thing I did it. So I'm still like, ooh. <laughs> regular <laughs> roll, regular roll. Try to keep my aim. balance. Oh boy. <laughs> Shaky aim. Yeah. Uh, paralyzed ooh. creature is incapacitated and can't move or speak. The um, creature automatically fails oh. strength and dex saving throws. Any oh. attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Any attack that hits a creature is a critical hit if the attacker is within five feet. So nice. any melee attack. So I... I rolled is a, a critical hit. Twenty-one to hit. It hits. So that's a critical hit. And I'm gonna make melee. So yeah. uh, just so oh we're God, just so we're clear, if he's also knocked prone, did I we know, decide but... that the advantage and disadvantages add up, and then you take the greater one? So if, he, if we have I two, I think that was the decision we came to. So if he's knocked prone, yeah. then he's not I would, prone though. I'm gonna knock him down. Oh. Because he automatically fails his strength. Yeah. Right, so right, he just. Right. So I'm going to do a tripping attack uh, to knock Hold him down. on. Before we get too far into this, I just noticed that as a golem, he's immune to paralysis. He is? Yes. I just noticed. Oh, I'm sorry. No! So Waste of a spell! I know. I'm sorry. I just noticed. Um, okay. So I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm going to roll a disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You still have to. You're still on your first attack. Well, I rolled better, before though. we got too far. All right. But I'm still going to try and trip him. So, I'm not. <laughs> Because um, <laughs> you wouldn't have retconned it if we'd gotten too far. That's true. <laughs> you would have been like, well, I guess he's not immune so, to paralyze. I still got a 21. He has to make a, a DC 19 strength saving throw. Okay. For trip. Uh, he's going to make it at a 20. Okay. 14 plus 6. Wait, what's the DC? 19. All been luck. Okay. Yeah, too. My mastery. He made a 20, so yeah. Yep. He's... yep. Yay. So the golem topples over backwards. Okay, so he's knocked down, and I'll make a couple more attacks against him. Um, does these ones are at advantage now? But just regular, because he's not because actually paralyzed. And you have yeah. disadvantage. So oh, I so I just don't have. Okay, yeah. great. Sorry, I screwed nope. everyone. I'm I'm just trying to get my <laughs> madness sorted <laughs> That's out in my head. Really badass. Uh, that Still is shaky a... about it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I am. Nineteen. Uh, nineteen hits. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make this one a distracting strike. So then the next. Attack gets advantage on him. It are, he does. Wait. He's oh, prone now, oh, so he does that have one. advantage. Yeah. Wait. Uh, I'll just do nothing then. Or I'll do a. Yeah, I'll just do nothing. I'll just do a straight damage then, and then I'll just do another one. I rolled a one, so okay, yes. I get two hits. So damage. This is magic slashing, and that is seven nine, plus thirty damage. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so Hunter shakily goes up and gets in a couple slashes <laughs> yeah. with the sword. Uh, then it is. Back in my day! That is. Take that, you little whippersnapper! He's currently prone on the ground. You can see his crystal. Paralyzed! Right. 
And I'm gonna start attacking at advantage. And the rain cloud kind of like, like a gyroscope, kind of like tilted and lighted <laughs> itself. Is it like raining horizontally? Yeah, now? no, it was oh like for a second and oh, then it lighted oh. itself and is now raining <laughs> vertically again. What's he doing now? He's just attacking. Um, Regular attack. Yeah. His first attack is a 17. Yeah, those are bad. Okay. Sorry? Hits. Okay, cool. And a crit. Oh my god. Okay. You didn't yeah. need my hold monster for that. Well, it was either yours or mine, right. so. You should check for wild magic, though. I did. Oh, okay. And it was a 10. Don't On worry. the table? Oh, boy. Should I, put a, should I put a fourth level smite into this? I would like to see that. I mean, <laughs> do you want to give us a chance to fight it? I already made my, really. my turn. <laughs> I'm good. I just want to go back to you sleep. You don't know what else we're going to run into in the jungle. Melissa Nightclaw could show up any time. Never know. It sounded like you said night clock. <laughs> night clock? Night clock. She's going to appear like ding, 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 Here's the cold on that one. Minute, here's the cold minute. on the other one. And here's... Okay. Hopefully nobody you don't needs need your hand. I don't need There's no need to separate any of it out. Right, what? Sorry, I was reading something. That goes. That's a lot. Oh, that yeah. sounds like a lot. Yeah. Paladins and their smites. It's like three ones. Um, prismatic spray. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, was My pretty. prismatic spray. Yeah, such a spell. So oh, I love that so spell. Good. I mean, I could prismatic spray his ass right here, but I think Batty might just quit. She sneezes rainbows. I sneeze rainbows. <laughs> and unicorns <laughs> come out of her. Two skittles. And <laughs> this is not what I thought you were gonna say. Oops. Unicorns come out of her. Hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, save that one. <laughs> Next time you summon Charlie. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a calculator? 86. Oh my Jeez. Nice. <laughs> I need a calculator. <laughs> Man. This one and this one are Ethan's? Yes. I bet everything has a thousand HP. It's gonna take a while. Uh, that was my suggestion to him because he was like, "You guys are killing things too the, fast." I was like, "Raise their HP." The cold damage uh, hits him. You can see that some of the rain inside solidifies a little bit into <laughs> sleep, uh, oh and then the radiant damage hits, and it all just kind of like shakes his body entirely. Uh, but then it's his turn, and he's going to creakily stand to his feet. Oh God! Um, and you can see the shimmering of his crystalline form in the light of your sword, uh, and then. Ooh, what's he going to do? Uh, first thing he's going to do is, as a bonus action, uh, you watch as the rain intensifies for a second and begins to fill his form, <laughs> and then <laughs> gushes out of his body. Oh my body. gosh! And I need, uh, let's see, it would be everyone within 10 feet of him, so it's just the two of you, uh, to make strength saving throws. Alright, we yeah. get a plus four to this. Fabulous! I oh, love yeah, strength and dex saving throws! <laughs> 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 Oh, oh yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. Oh my god! <laughs> you get a plus four to that. Uh, I get a plus eight to that. <laughs> but it turns into a nine. Okay, <laughs> that's not enough. No. Twenty nine. That's enough. Um, so uh, oh, this like water rushes out and pushes there. back against the two of you. <laughs> um, do, 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 and you take. I'm like, it's like damage. when I was running on ice. <laughs> I can't be knocked down. That's really funny. Um, so, Thaddeus, <laughs> you really take 19 cool. bludgeoning damage. Okay. Hunter takes half of that, which would be 9. How much did you get? Um, 19? And then, mm -hmm. Thaddeus, you are knocked prone. Mm. Uh, and then, with his action, he's going to turn to Thaddeus and slam two fists down into oh, the ground. Oh, jeez. Uh, at least you're not paralyzed. Yeah. Because that's bad. So that's a 22. Oh, jeez. All right, shield. Okay, so what is your AC now? 25. So high. Uh, and that's a 28. So oh, wow. one of them still hits. High level monsters get high pluses to hit. This is why I put a fourth level smite on that thing, guys. Yeah, I get you. 
Uh, but it's rolling low damage. I said it was a huge. Um, I mean, wait, I'm not yeah. scared. How, how big is it? It's a large creature. A large creature. Okay, large. I heard huge somewhere, and I was like, oh, what? It well, does he's... nine bludgeoning damage. Okay. Okay. Because if he's huge, I can't. I can't do certain things to him. Oh, okay. On three d eight, I roll I two like ones in a second. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, plus six, so category. 15, no. sorry, my bad. You get, if, if he's next to us, you get sneak attack this time, though, if you shoot him. Yeah. You can also throw your dagger at him. He's probably in range to do that mm-hmm. instead of your short bow. It is now Mara's turn. Okay, I hadn't used my short bow in a long time, so... Okay. She likes to utilize all of her things. Where, you can throw your blank head, too, I guess. <laughs> I need some action. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the wind god dagger is good for, though, okay. it's throwing. Let's try it out, baby! Your knee dagger? Okay, which so one if it's increased one ranged, it's definitely oh, yeah. within range. Throw the wind dagger! Okay, so that gets uh, 19. That hits. Ooh. And you said I get sneak attack on this one? He's mm-hmm. still within melee range of us. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then as it hits, it in you, Thaddeus, you watch as the dagger so digs the into the crystal land. magically, uh, slices in, and then uh, disappears in a puff of wind and reappears in Mara's hand. Plus five. I think that's right, right? I do you want to, do you need to roll the force damage stomach. separate? Nope. Okay. My goodness. I thought that was the dog. No, that was my stomach. Okay. That was your stomach. Oh, wow. It's okay. Ooh, mac and cheese. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, so 10. That is that. That's a 1. Okay. 20. 37. 8. And 4. So that's 12. So. 32? No, wait, 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 wait. You get plus? 37. 37, okay. Nice. And you can see that that wedges like directly in his chest before it <laughs> turns into a gust of wind and teleports back tomorrow. Uh, Gloriana then. That's awesome. Still in the room. Uh, heroism isn't going to be much help. Uh, she will uh, call out to Thaddeus, who's still on the ground. And she says, get up, Master Hammerlock, get up! Uh, and she casts a uh, healing word oh. and will restore to you uh, eight hit points. Hey, I'm not going to say no to that. I like that she's like our little cheerleader. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Let's keep her. <laughs> <laughs> Can we keep her? <laughs> uh, our mascot. Yeah. <laughs> mascot. Stop with sparkle. Uh, then it is Harmony's turn. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so this guy looks like he's made out of crystal, you said? Yep. Can I cast Shatter and not hit anyone else? Yeah, you could cast it upwards, I think. And not hit them, mm-hmm. basically. Because yep, he's taller than everyone. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. He has disadvantage <coughs> on his save, mm-hmm. but advantage because of magic oh. resistance, so he'll roll more. Nice. And that's a fail, I think. Well, actually, that's us find out. Because it's con. Uh, oh, oh dear. Uh, yes. So 13 plus 5 is a failure against your spell safety. <laughs> I love having a high spell safety. Okay. Yeah, so wait, what am I rolling? <laughs> 38. You can. Shatter. Shatter. Oh, that's pretty high. Nice. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, so that looks like a 20 there. 20? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. You betcha. Uh, and he takes you betcha. Um, you can see cracks beginning to form in his exterior after that shatter spell uh, explodes with a loud boom above his head. Yeah. Anything else from Harmony? Um, nah. Nah. I think I'm just going to sit back and watch. Okay. Hunter, your turn. All right. I'm going to make some more sword attacks against him. Uh, yep. So he's standing up again. Mm-hmm. So uh, here we go. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I got a twenty, but I had disadvantage. <laughs> Darn it! I got a, I got a hit though, so that's uh, twenty or yeah, twenty-eight to hit. Hits. I'm gonna do another trip attack on him. So knock this one off. Uh, that is fourteen plus six for twenty. So he, <sighs> so he stands dashing. on his feet. Dang it! Okay, so that's fine. I still get the damage. I'll try it again. That's a twenty-four to hit, and. That one off. This is another, another trip attack. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, I rolled it and it was slightly cocked, so I re rolled it. The first one was a 16, so he would have passed, but the second one was a 5, so he fails. Okay, Falls so he's knocked prone. Nice. So now I'm going to make regular attack on him. Nice. And that misses. 
It was, on, it was on an 18, but that's okay. I got some damage. So... Got... Magic slashing. Okay. Has two out of three hits attack hit him. Going for the legs. Sweep the leg, Hunter. Sweep the legs. Uh, and then Thaddeus, you've got him prone on the ground in front of you, thanks to Hunter. That's where, that's where I like him. I'm gonna get up. You can see obvious cracks forming in him. The rain is leaking out. All right, so Thaddeus gets up and sloshes through the. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-one hits, I think. Mm-hmm. And ooh, that was good. Uh, Twenty-nine. That also hits. All right. I really like this music. Yeah. Jungle battle music. Drums. 34. Okay. There we go. Um, bits and shards of him are actually falling off at this point. Um, as he stands back to his feet, recharges his torrent, uh, <laughs> and is going to use that again. Uh, okay. So I need both of you to hey. make strength hey. saving throws. The worst. Oh, I got a one. I also got a one. Stop using that okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow, guys. Um... So that is uh, 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. As the water rushes out of him again, it wells up in his body and then just floods out, especially with all the cracks. 13. Um, and both of you fall prone, so he will slam one each on both of you. Uh, ooh, it was a 1 and a 20 on the advantage roll against Thaddeus. Oh, no. So that's a hit. And Great. then. Just a hit. Uh, 25 <laughs> to hit great, Hunter. Yeah. So that's a hit. Alright. Um, so against Thaddeus, let's roll some dice. Uh, 12. Okay, 20. Uh, and then 24. And 30. Uh, so that's. Uh, 30. Uh, wow. Uh, 39 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. As the fist just slams directly into your chest and you can hear ribs crack. Uh, ouch. And that was a critical hit. Uh, and then Hunter, you take 18 points of bludgeoning damage, 18. and you can hear your plates like creak and yeah. uh, bend backwards. Is it 18? Mm-hmm. Okay. As they shake. Uh, As I'm rattling, rattling, like, roll. Rattling, roll. <laughs> shake. Rattling, roll. <laughs> then it is Mara's turn. You've got your wind dagger back in your hand because it teleported to you. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't get sneak attack because we both have been pushed away. <laughs> oh, are we away? No, you're still next to it. I thought you said... You're just prone. Oh, we're prone. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So you, you do get some damage. Yeah, he's very focused on slamming one fist into Thaddeus and then one into Hunter. <laughs> okay. So um, can I... I need to... I want to understand how this works. I have that serpent uh, bracelet. Right. Does it take an action to put poison on my guy? I think it does. Does it take an action to wake the snake up and then another action to put poison on it? No, you, you can put poison on it while it's not awake. Oh, oh, oh. I see, but it's spent an action to... I think, doesn't it say on the card? Wow, oh, look at all these cards. What is happening here? How many items do you have? I know, I gave her a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, you can use your action to coat a weapon with basic poison. Okay, so... So it would be an action. So you wouldn't be able to attack. So I wouldn't be able to attack. Okay, so Correct. let's let's not do that then. Um, i got to remember to do that before. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't know that we were going to fight something. So. I mean, we've had to fight something in every shrine. We knew we were going to fight something. We didn't fight, well, we didn't fight anything in the uh, yeah. Since he's one. wet, I want to try to use the lightning one. Oh, okay. okay. Do you have range on that? Uh, she would be at long range, range, so this attack would be at disadvantage. Because the, the wind yeah, ever has a longer range to it. Oh, that's okay. why it wasn't a disadvantage before. Okay, so it's going to be that one. Um, it's going to be, yep, 14. Ooh, uh, it just goes <laughs> glancing yes. off the edges of it, and then the lightning dagger clatters to the floor a few feet away from Thaddeus. Can you use bonus action to retrieve it? 
Can you use your boss to throw another weapon? I don't think so, because that's to be a melee yeah. attack for mm. the offhand. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I bet. Well, I can't go in there, though. Can't, Does that one zap back to you? Mm -mm. Uh, she can use a bonus action to pull it back. So, yeah, you can use your bonus action to make it oh, okay. come back to you. All right, cool. So it disappears in a fizzle of lightning and then reappears in Mara's hand. Yeah. So now I want to see what the lightning would have done to him. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can, uh, I can show you. Uh, Gloriana. <laughs> Gloriana, what can she do? Um, Charm person, is that'll like be useful. Lying the ground, I don't think you're cool at all, right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's true. She could have been inspiring people. In the book. Uh, she will. She'll like shout over to Hunter. She'll be like, "Hunter, get up and hit it with your sword. Now's the chance." Uh, so you you can take a d6. Raise uh, a thumbs up. Got it. Bardic inspiration. <laughs> okay. uh, and then she'll she'll turn to the golem itself and she'll say something insulting. <laughs> Tell me it's vicious mockery. It is vicious yes! mockery. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's like my favorite spell. If you if you know about the spell. Which she even says something insulting and it takes psychic like, damage. <laughs> More like sewer water. But it has to fail the same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> she just says, Your Mama, where's our I don't know. Nobody likes a rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and it fails it safe. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. That's great. It kind of turns its crystalline head to her uh, as it takes two Gloriana. psychic damage. <laughs> she is great. Gloriana. And has disadvantage on its next attack. Then it's Harmony's turn. Sweet. All right, so I'm sitting there, and I see, because I'm at the bottom of the stairs, and I see, like, the lightning dagger go swishing by my head, and it misses, and I'm like, oh, oh, but that's a great, great idea, Mara! And I cast Chromatic Orb Lightning okay. at him. Oh, what does that do? So you need to make an attack roll with that one. Yes! Yes, I do. Chromatic Orb. Chromatic Orb. Sweet. So I'm, if I miss, I have, I can use my... It's a chaos, but let's make it ahead, ahead of ourselves. Uh, 18? That hits. Nice. Nice. Yeah. All right. So it's uh, 3D lightning damage. What level spell is that? Uh, it's, from my, spell. it's from my amulet. Oh, first level. But yeah, it's a first level. Uh, if I, okay. I can't cast it at higher levels from my amulet. Otherwise, I would. But 3D is still pretty good for a first level spell. <laughs> Okay, 13 lightning damage. You want to know something? You killed it exactly. Right! <laughs> Tell me what it looks like. Uh, okay, so I'm like, oh, oh, lightning! Great job, Mara! Take this, you big slimy son of a bitch! And I throw the, the lightning orb, and it just hits him right full on in the chest, and he goes like that. And I was like, hey, Hunter, he looks like you now! Does it <laughs> When I hit it with the cold damage, it became a snowstorm. Does it become a thunderstorm briefly? Inside? Yeah, just for a brief second, and <laughs> like, then like you know when you hit a Lionel in the middle of a rainstorm with a, a, a thunder arrow, and it's just like boom. Basically, the, the the rain cloud in its center turns like black and thundery for a moment, moment, and you see a flash of lightning from that uh, before, which basically electrocutes its insides, and then it just explodes yes! into crystal like water, crystal and water everywhere. Yep. Oh, oh, I did it! Yeah, I I'm did watching it, it go. Uh, but then like a fireworks show for You them, kind of instinctively already... look back to your mother for approval, <laughs> and she just says, "A lightning bolt spell would have done it better." I don't know that one. <laughs> that is like six feet. Ugh. Yeah. Oof. <sighs> Did they still the attack? Hey guys, did you see that? I killed it. That Ooh. was great. <laughs> I'm gonna run over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like completely oblivious to you guys and how beat up you are. Just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Would you like to get the Promise first me. into the fire? So, is there like fire that we need to enter or something? Like, what's going on here? Uh, none of the statues' torches seem to be lit at the moment. Okay. They're um, all the bird masks, and so nothing seems to be happening, basically. I'm gonna cast Firebolt on the torch on one of them, and okay. then use control flame to kind of share that with the others. Ah. Um, as 
you do that and the fire comes into contact with the statue, their face plates begin to light up with fire again, and so do their torches, but a wave of fire <laughs> pulses out throughout the entire room and I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw, except for Mara. Okay. Gloriana has to use Dexterity, that's another one I'm so good Gloriana at. Gloriana rolls a one. She gets a plus four for me. Probably isn't going to hit at all. Dang it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There's my natural 20. Yep. So I rolled a one, which means I get a two, a three, and then do I get your plus four? Yeah. So seven, but I'm resistant to fire. Okay. Uh, I so rolled a... The DC you're looking to beat is 15. So Thaddeus oh, gets it, Harmony fails. Fail. Yeah, and well. so does Gloriana fail as well. Uh, I might have to use my reaction here in a second. Um, let me see how much damage it does. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, Are you that close to death? Yeah. Oh, it yeah. is 14 points of fire damage, or halved for you okay. and uh, for Thaddeus and so Harmony. Seven. Yep. So I just take three points because I have yep. four tempted points. <laughs> Okay. I didn't realize you'd taken so much damage. Oh, um, yeah, really. But hard. as the fire clears from that, you can see that all of the statues have shifted back to uh, what was the next one? Uh, the tiger face, um, and their torches are remaining lit. Um, is Gloriana up? Yeah, she's she's okay. left. Maybe you guys should just you know leave and let me handle this. <laughs> yeah, maybe like, uh, idea. yeah, that might be a good idea. <laughs> Sorry, probably should have seen like, that she's one. She's like patting out a fire in her curly <laughs> hair, basically, like with her hat. Thanks that for your story. Like, that just like takes takes the line of arms and goes, this is this way. And, Bye guys. And gives her how, how much is she down? Uh, Fourteen. I give her fifteen. Oh man, brownie point. Alrighty. Um. Do we have time for a short rest while Harmony is doing something? Well, she's not. It doesn't take her too long to cast okay. firebolts. So, what are you doing now? Well, my guess is that I have to get these all back around to the bird. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'll just be like firebolt party down here. <laughs> but I'm gonna do one at a time until it gets to the bird and yeah. then the next one. But it's um, a firebolt party. It goes back to the pattern you recognize where. Their face mask lights up, and it turns instantly to the next uh, faceplate in the cycle, and eventually they all get back to the bird, and without the rain golem to douse their flames, the torches uh, at the hilts of their swords stay lit. Uh, and then as that happens, in the center of the circle, a almost like a bonfire-sized uh, fire springs to life over the ground magically, um, and it just kind of burns with this vermilion flame. So I'm sitting at the bottom of the steps watching. I'm gonna... I've gone some ways up. I'll call up the stairs. Hunter? And I'm like... I'm about to do something that's real stupid. I'll stand up and be like, alright, hold on a second. And I walk into the fire. Wait a second. (laughs) I'm not scared of no fire. Okay. I was born in fire, bitches. Uh, you take eight, have down to four points of fire damage. Okay. Uh, and your vision is clouded by the fire itself for a moment, uh, but then the fire recedes and it just, it feels almost just like it's warm around you, um, and not burning hot. Uh, and you find yourself in a small room, which is separate from everything else, um, but the same sort of red stone brick facades. Uh, and Do I see her is, disappear? Yeah, she disappeared in the fire. So I'm gonna like do the same thing and run after her. Okay. Uh, after you take uh, eight points of fire damage as you step into the fire, Harmony, before you can even take in the room, you're shunted out of the fire uh, as Hunter, you experience the same sensation what? and find yourself in this tiny cramped room. It's literally like no bigger than five by five. Uh, like, Hunter, what are you doing? I thought you were like super hurt. I, I got didn't know this. where you went. I got- <laughs> you said you were going to do something stupid. I give him a hug. Okay. Uh, it's just like okay. over the fire. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Um, in the, Come on. the corner of this room, this tiny, tiny room, there is a pedestal, which you recognize very similar to the other shrines, and on top of it is sitting a... Um, it's probably a good thing you're here in case there's any keen right here, That's right? Yeah. It's a... this time it's a ruby gem, uh, 
nearly complete ring, this shape that I'm showing the camera now. Um, so the first one you got was diamond, the second one is like a blue sapphire gem, and this one is ruby. Uh, and it does, in fact, have keen, car uh, keen writing carved into it, um, okay. which says, Born on the shortest days, the rebirth of others marks my death. Until I come again, carried on frigid winds. Uh, it might be that back. One on the shortest days. Yep. The shortest of days. Of days. Yep. Uh, the rebirth of others marks my death. Until I come again, carried on frigid winds. I don't get it. I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older now. <laughs> Um, all right, well, I guess this is what we came here for. Yeah. So how are these supposed to help us get to the compass, though? You guys are literally, like, smashed up against each other in this Oh, it's a small room? Yeah, it's pretty five small. Five. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I'm tiny. I, like, crawl up to Hunter's shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no real obvious exits, either. We probably have to go back through the fire. Is there the firewall that we came through? Yeah, I mean, it's like a bonfire burning in the center of the room. You're basically, like, hunched on the sides of it. Try it again? Mm. Alright. I jump down and I run through the fire. As you step in, there's that familiar warm sensation, but it doesn't burn you. And uh, you find yourselves back in the shrine. Thaddeus and Gloriana and Mara, you watch as they just sort of, um, almost as if they are constructed out of the flame, they emerge from it and uh, look a little, bit, a little bit singed, but not too bad. That was fun. Thaddeus has been healing himself up a little bit while you guys were going. Did you get another riddle? And then you got another the, thing. Yeah. And then I'll read him the that's script that's on it. And then, uh, yeah, I guess this is what so we came for. Were there riddles in the first two as well? Yeah, the answers to the first two were north and water. Uh. Do you want to hear the riddles again? Yeah. First one was the one we found in the turtle shrine. Mm hmm. Patient no. Of, or the tiger The tiger, tiger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Patient of lost souls, I sit in a place of prominence uh. upon a rose. Night or day, find me and you'll find your way. We think that was north. Right. Okay. Second one at the Dragon, Dragon Shrine. Shrine. I live in oceans, rivers, and seas. When I'm cold, I float. When I'm hot, I'm free. Which is water. Water. Mm -hmm. Or steam. Steam is water. Right, but. Steam doesn't get cold. The, I think the theory is that when water is hot, it becomes steam. Yeah, Therefore, yeah, that's right. that part of the. Oh, world. yeah. And the third one? Can you read it again? Oh, the third one. Yep. yep. Yeah. I just less lost. I mean, I know it's Thaddeus. Oh, uh, yeah. So right. I'll read it to Thaddeus. Born on the shortest of days, the rebirth of others marks me death. Until I come again, carry on frigid winds. Winter. That, yeah, winter. That, yeah. That's probably the right. Actually. Born on the shortest of days, that's the winter solstice, and the, the rebirth, rebirth of, of others spring. is spring. Yeah. Makes sense. Right. Yeah, winter. Nick, did I stump you with a riddle I made up? No, I, I wanted to. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> I was so proud of myself. <laughs> I like, look, I have it written down right here. Darn I it. saw you had an yeah. answer oh, written down, man. so I knew you had it. Oh, I was so excited. Winter. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> He's really crazy good at riddles. Oh. Wait, so north, water, and winter? How are those supposed to help us find. I know anything. Uh, uh, roll a history check at advantage. This was just rolled so many ones. Uh, I got a 13? 13. Uh, yeah, you were looking for about a 10 because this is pretty common knowledge in the Elder Haven reaches. Okay. Um, knowing all three answers of, the, of those riddles together trigger a specific thought in your mind, which is that each of the guardian spirits is associated with uh, Cardinal Direction, which is where they took up residence in the Elder Haven reaches. Mm -hmm a season, which is what their presence warped the Elder Haven Reach's location where they took up residence to basically resemble, uh -huh. uh, and then also an element. And so you have water, uh -huh. you have north, and you have um, winter. Winter, winter, which are the trio that represent Genmu, the black the turtle. turtle. Which yeah. is the name of this island. Well, the island is coming on my I mean, which is this island which is what I meant. Because the right. island is a turtle. So, so that just tells us that the compass is here on the island somewhere? Like, we already knew that. <laughs> what I, the hell have we been doing these shrines for? I thought it, I thought it would make something clear about this island. 
And I mean, I thought, when we had Northern Water, I thought, there's, there's a Northern Water somewhere that we have to go to, but we won't know which one it is until we find the third answer. But this isn't up at all. There's no winter here. Can I see the map? Sure. What would happen if we made it winter here? Mm. Who can do that? She can make it snow, can't she? <laughs> Just a little bit. So. Sure I can! Somehow. Well, uh, your can, mother looks at you and shakes her head and says, can no, you can't. I think I think the next logical place to go would be to the staircase. Yeah, I mean we were kind of up there already. I don't know if we. Explored. But we went up the mountain. We went to the summit. There was, there, went, there was a volcano. You went up the back of the mountain. Well, I mean, well, it, wasn't it snows steam and it's like snow. hot rain, which is, I guess, kind of like winter here, maybe. It's gonna be something more wintry. But if there was, if there was anything wintry, then we would. I've known it as soon as we answered that this room. These, uh, these ancient Elder Haven Reaches, uh, warriors or monks or whoever set up all these trials, they were very, very confusing, weren't they? <laughs> what, what is the thing you have? What, they weren't very straightforward, that's for sure. What is this? Maybe this is. I just snap it. I, it you can unsnap it. Is there a missing piece? I don't know. I don't even know if that's the right construction. I started playing with it. I mean, notably, when you have all three of them together and Hunter fidgets with them a little bit, they do mm. seem to fit together in some way. Like, they connect. Right. Maybe there's some sort of key that we need to use. Where? I don't think we should go to that staircase. It looks, they look like chain links, to be honest. Was there a door at the base of that staircase? There was, what did I remember? There's a staircase, you saw, and then... Or am I thinking of White Plume Mountain? <laughs> no, White Plume Mountain had a cave. That yeah, it was like a little, yeah. 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 Um, there was, it wasn't a doorway, but it looked like the stairway led up to the wall of the mountain. And yeah. then there was carvings there. Yeah, there were carvings. Oh, so we've been, we've been... So we went, to the, we went to a different side of the mountain. Oh, then okay. what I'm yeah. referencing. So I'm Hunter, Hunter saw side of the from mountain. the air the south side of the mountain. We went up the, north side. up the north side. Yeah. Okay. So we should go to the south side of the mountain is what I would think we should do. Look, I made it look like a chain. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Harmony. <laughs> what, that's not the answer? <laughs> I don't know. Nobody knows yet. North and water would have made great sense for this mountain, too, but well, maybe. Maybe it'll be you know, more it, Maybe if it, maybe it's under the mountain. Maybe there's something down there that's really cold. An underground lake. Yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, okay. it's not. I can't think of anything else. Yeah, I think you're. All, I think you're right. Maybe yeah. We but is, are you are you okay or should we take a little rest? I'm uh, a little beat up too. Yeah, I could stand the rest. Yeah. Uh, if you're gonna take a short rest, um, I, I do like Gloriana. Uh, as you're sort of all sitting down, will uh, chatter just a little bit about some plot ideas that she has that she's working through. Uh, and they're all they're all really vague, but some there's something is listening raptly. Yeah, there's something very <laughs> restful about just listening to her speak. Uh, she'll use her song of restability. While oh. you guys are resting, what is song of rest? Uh, if you regain any hit points, you also regain uh, an extra four. Cool. Right. I'll use one hit die. I'm only down 7 HP, but why that was low. Well. Don't get any, because I didn't take any damage. So. 2 plus, that's what cake. Con mod, which is 2, which is 4, and then we get how many from? 4. Uh, an extra 4. 4, so I'm back to full. 16, 20. That's funny, I rolled a 2 on my hit die and it brought me back to full. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So well, Thaddeus took a heavy hit. Yeah. yeah, he did. So while everybody is resting, I'm going to kind of like find a place to sit where I can turn my back to the group. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pull out the crystal ball and I'm going to... Yeah, as you pull out the crystal ball, you hear... The, notably, the hallucination seems to have disappeared uh, for now. But you hear a voice in your head, which you haven't heard for a long time. In fact, since you fell down into the ravine with Eli, uh, and you hear... What are you looking for, young child? It's the voice that echoed up from the deeps. Whatever it is, I can show you. Oh, it's that you know thing! my offer still stands. Oh, you can man. come and claim power. Can I tell if this is real or not? not? No. No? Oh, spoilers! Um, spoilers. Cool. Well, 
Redwall. So you haven't passed Redwall right now? She's like in the middle of Redwall. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, I was going to scry on Eli anyway. <laughs> but now I'm just like, oh god. So yeah, I'd like to scry on Eli, please. Okay. She definitely wants a new Redwall episode before we actually go to Redwall. I think that's the plan. She's yeah. there. Yeah. What sort of save is it? Wisdom. Oh, almost perfect. And he has some minus to it, doesn't he? And, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to look it up in the book. I think. He has something that I gave him, too. I don't know mm -hmm. if he keeps it on him or not, but I gave him. I think it has to be you have something, have something he gave you. I thought that it, well, maybe it's, it goes both ways, but I did give him my pretty necklace. I left, or I if he's carrying the pretty necklace, I think he's right on. Let's uh, see. No, you can't uh, knowledge. You're I'd say you're familiar with him, so that's a minus five. Uh, yeah, familiar is minus five, and then connection, possession, or garment, likeness, or picture. I would say part. that means if you have. If I have it, not if he has it. Okay. So yeah, just a minus five then. Okay. Uh, and your spell save DC is nineteen. Well, it's for the ball. It's a DC oh, that's seventeen. Right. That's right. Yeah. Um, you try and focus into the ball um, and focus your attention, but that voice is just still really, it's the loudest thing in your head and you can't focus enough uh, to bring about the image of Eli. And you just hear uh, a low chuckle. It says, if you had taken up my offer for power, perhaps this would have worked more successfully for you. But it's not too late. Come to me anytime. As I said before. I follow my head, I just sit with my knees against my chest, just thinking quietly. Yeah, and occasionally you hear like weird sounds coming from the jungle, like screams and things like that. That's just hunter chattering. <laughs> you, you close your ears to them. Yeah, yeah I'm just kind of sitting there, like not really here. Unfortunately, Eli has a high wisdom, and I rolled a natural 20 to save. Of course, you did. <laughs> What's everyone else doing? Is, Healing. Is li listening very carefully to everything going on. Yeah, uh, she's very careful to avoid spoilers for the book that she's writing, uh, but she just is like she bounces a couple ideas off of you, things that she's working on. Uh, this is probably literally the most relaxing Thaddeus can be. <laughs> relaxed. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, and then eventually, you guys, uh, with your wounds tended, feel uh, Hunter a little bit repaired. You guys yes. feel well rested. Yeah. And you complete your short rest. Okay, yeah, great. Well, how long does it, do you think it's going to take us to get there from here? Judging by further travels, what, like a couple hours probably? Yeah, a couple hours through the woods. What time uh, but it's it? still late morning. Oh, okay. You've got time. Because, like, I could teleport us there, but that's also wasting my biggest spell slot, no. even if it's not that far. It's not worth it yet. Okay. Save it for. When we're finally done with all this, yeah. I don't want to spend another morning on this island. I know, right? I'm not sure the rest of you can stand it. <laughs> I have another uh, play question. If I'd taken that fire uh, resistance potion, could I have entered? No. Because okay. it was based on this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I guess we will uh, embark. Trudge through the jungle? Yeah. That's right. Okay. Uh, let me just see if you encounter anything. You might not. Wild Garistro appears. I mean, it's another, on the table. Another fruit, fruit tree yeah. that we ignore. <laughs> a, a smell that I can't smell. <laughs> um, as you're traveling this way through the oh, jungle, yeah. How long does that heroism last? Uh, I think it's like an hour, so it'd be gone. So it'd be gone now. Um, as you're traveling through the jungle, uh, you find a very well-defined path from the south part of the island up to the north part of the island. And as you're following along that, you notice that uh, the trees along the path on the left side are marked with one specific abyssal symbol, and the trees along the path on the right side are marked with a different abyssal symbol of some kind. Um, and this just continues the entire length of the path I for hours. No, you don't. Why? Because you speak it? Yeah. Nobody needs to know. This. Wouldn't it be nice to know what these say? Wait, Floriana, don't you know this one? Ah, uh, well, uh, I know a little. Uh, let me take a look. You, you knew the goblin's language. The goblins uh, speak goblin. 
Well, Abyssal is a little bit harder to come about a teacher for. Abyssal is um, the language of the demons. They're sort of part of I mean... She speaks common halfling and goblin, but she was researching it, so I'll give her an intelligence check to try and figure out what it is. Uh, she takes a look at the symbols and she's like, no one. Um, unfortunately, these are these are not any of the few symbols that I know. Um, Worth not going to be of any help here. No, the spark one was abyssal, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's like a, a whinnying sound from above. <laughs> or what about your friend Malk? Moloch. Moloch. Uh, no, I mean he's from the Nine Hells, not from. He, he'd know Infernal. Like, like yeah, he'd know Infernal. The Nine Hells is constantly at war with the demons of the abyss. So it's possible he might it's know. It's possible, but like, yeah. I mean, it's not worth calling him here. Isn't he already with us? No, he stayed at the ship to keep oh, watch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's our alarm. Um, Alright, okay. well, I guess we'll pay no heed because we don't know what they mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, let's just keep, keep going. Okay. Uh, you travel up this path for quite some time uh, before eventually, I need to switch notes now because we're in. Being told I don't need to know makes me really want to learn it. <laughs> uh, eventually you come to a long cracked stairway that climbs upward um, as the ground begins to slope up towards the mountain um, this is it, you guys. and as the cracked stairway winds through the forest it is also covered by occasional stone archways um, and they're decorated with hanging objects that seem to repeat a pattern uh, turtle shells, lizard scales bird feathers and then claws of some kind, cat like in nature. Um, and at the top of this is a spray. <laughs> it's okay. Turtle shells, shells, lizard scales, bird feathers, and then cat like claws that just sort of dangle from the tops of these archways. Um, and then at the top of the stairway, the trees open up into a wide Elderhaven Reaches style courtyard. So basically, you can think a temple courtyard from like Japan or something like that. Um, where it has, it's basically walled on uh, most of the sides, except for this entranceway, and across the way you can see an exit that goes up some more stairs. Um, the weathered and vine-covered flagstones of this courtyard speak to the ancientness of this site, um, and you can see that there are heavy-looking stone bells that hang from the slanted roofs of the courtyard walls which sort of ring occasionally in this sort of like solemn tone as uh, they blow in the light breeze that blows through here. Uh, And then in the center of the courtyard, you can see a small stone pagoda that shelters a raised dais. Uh, And then on the dais appears to be a figure sitting cross-legged, clad fully in the same turtle shell armor that you saw um, on the warriors entombed uh, in the burial mounts your first night on the island. Um, the ones we read. Yes. <laughs> uh, and the figure does not seem to move or acknowledge your presence in any way as you sort of creep your way into the courtyard. I'm going to just go ahead and use um, Divine Sense. Okay. What does that tell you about? Um, I can sense the location of celestial scenes and undead within 60 feet of me. Okay. Um, as your sense extends out from you, uh, you don't sense any of those things nearby. As we slowly approach, I also wanted to use Know Your Enemy on the figure and get an idea of his class levels Okay. Um, and current HP, I guess. Looking at this figure, uh, even from a distance, you can see scars on the armor that indicate that this person has seen quite a bit of battle. Okay. Um, which tells you this person is of a higher class level than you. Okay. Uh, and then what else? So that's total class levels. Yes. Okay. And then uh, HP? Uh, HP is probably less than you. Okay. Uh, so they are, they're of like a slighter build, and you can tell sure. that they're not quite as sturdy as you are. So... Warforged construction. Um, okay. Should you... you know, so I'll... You want to take point, you know Keen. Yeah, so I'll approach him, and then Keen... Uh, as you approach the figure yeah. and get close enough, you can actually see that the figure is um, not wearing a helmet. That's the one part of the uh, Elderhaven Reach's armor that they're not wearing. Um, and you can see that they have long, uh, a, a long ponytail that extends to the back, like all the way down the back. Uh, and they're very obviously female, uh, perhaps around f- like 35, 40-ish. 
uh, and their eyes are closed, uh, head looking straight forward, but you don't seem to acknowledge your presence at all. So in Kane, I'll say, hello there. And the bells of the courtyard sort of ring as the wind breezes through, okay. but there's no response. He doesn't, uh, they don't respond? Okay. Uh, and as you get closer now, you can also see that they are holding something. Yeah. Uh, and Mari, you also notice something. Uh, can I send, send her a message? You could try that. Um, so a couple things that Hunter notices. Around the pagoda, there is a ring of Elderhaven writing uh, that just scrawls through the flagstones of the courtyard. Uh, and then the figure is also holding a, a decorative stone cube, which seems to be inlaid with ornate twisting veins of diamond, ruby, and sapphire. And then there's an indent, indent in the front of the cube that almost looks to be in the shape of a twisted knot. Oh, something like this? Uh, not like a chain, no. Or like the way we had it before, maybe. The material of those yeah. matches the inlays, though. It's the same types of gems. Okay. Uh, and then Mara, as you get close to this figure, there's something about this figure that just sort of feels familiar to you, but you can't really place it. Uh, and even the rest of you, as you get close, there's something that you look at this figure and it just makes you think Mara, for some reason. Like, there's some similarity there. What is... Um, it's to read the writing around the pagoda. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weathered um, and difficult to read, but if you take some time and sort of walk around the pagoda, you can read it. Um, um, yeah. I'm going to send her a message. Hold on, let me just get to this and then we'll get to that. Um, it says, the way to the east is dangerous, and only the worthy may claim that which will guide them to the land of the spirits. The great turtle's servant bids you to present proof of your worthiness. Only then may you face the final and most difficult trial. Do I? Is this person a spirit? Um, with your ranger ability to sense them, uh, you don't get that sense. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is your message you're sending? Uh, hello. I'm alive. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I need to check something. Great. <laughs> it's just in common. It's gonna check to see if they're alive. Uh, hello. Are you alive? You just can you hear me? Testing. <laughs> Testing. Um. um when you attempt to send the message to the creature um, it's almost as if you were trying to send a message to an unconscious recipient. Like, there, there's just... The message doesn't even go through. She dead, guys. But she's not undead. Well, she's not... responsive. So I'm gonna keep approaching this figure until I can get, like, within, I don't know, 15 feet or so. Mm -hmm. Does she do anything? I can nope. cast okay. Mage Hand and try to take the cube from her. I was actually going to try to do this. And I was just going to like... Well, maybe if you cross... Okay. Well, I'm going to get real close and like inspect her and see if she's like... Alive, I guess. That's mm -hmm. what Harmony said. You, uh, well, you can't... I mean, you, you can technically... So I would, like, I would like touch her and like and like see if she like responds at all. Yeah, there's no response at all. She doesn't do anything. And then like any sort of like yeah, small check to see if she's even alive. Uh, you could roll a medicine check at disadvantage because you have trouble feeling a pulse through your sure. construction. Uh, oh, well, an 18 and a 3, uh, a 4. 4? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's really hard to tell, like... I'm already person, shaking, so it's like, I'm like, gosh. If this person uh. is breathing, it's a very shallow breathing, and yeah. if they have a pulse, it's very, very light. So it's really, you can So I'll, tell. like, kneel down and, like, look at their face, and, like, are they, like... Blinking and doing normal things? No? Their eyes are just closed. Yeah, maybe it's they're almost as if they're in like a meditative pose too, because they're, they're sitting on the ground cross-legged. Okay, and then I'm like, scratch my head and like, shrug. I don't... They're um, not completely not responsive. Did you say there was an indent in the cube? Maybe I'll like, reach for the cube that they have <laughs> and see if I can't take it from uh, the Make gently. a strength check. Okay, is that disadvantage? Yep. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Just a straight strength? Yep. Okay, um, that is a 23. Yeah, the person has a very heavy grip on it, 
but you do manage to pull it from their grip, and then their hands kind of clasp together as it, it falls into a clasp across their Okay, legs. so I have it. Do they respond at all, or are they just... Nope. Okay, should we try and yeah, pull it up? Alright, so I'll just try and uh, copy the shape that's needed with these. Okay. Uh, is it like this, or is it something else? It's not like that. Can it's, you show it's, us? Um, what the <laughs> Don't tell like? him to give you the or answer. You have to, uh, give I, it to me. What I should have done is I should have printed a picture of what it should look like. Yeah. Um, it almost looks like a knot with each piece intertwined together so you can't see any gaps. Okay, I'll try and do that while so you explain. So let's make it do like this. Huh? Maybe... Oh, I think I see how to do it. Like that? No. No. Mm, no. Here, so let me try and find a picture of this so I can show you. That's the chain that you had. Do you want to do it? Give me a try. Yeah. That's what we've been saying. Like, sorry. that's a chance. Sorry, that's sorry. a chance. The idea was you'd have time to work on this between episodes. Yeah. Well, but we're but never I, I didn't know together what it was between supposed to episodes. Be either. Yeah. Uh, it might not have been a good idea for a stream. I thought you knew how to do it. Uh, there has to be no space, right? Yeah. No gaps. I'm trying to find a picture so I can show you. Where's your brother? I'm still trying to figure it out. Okay. Here we go. Uh, so if one of you wants to come and take a peek, you can see what it's supposed to look at. Look can I see it from this side? Actually, I'll just uh, take a picture and, send, and uh, yeah, pass my phone over. Group chat. Oh, okay. Um, but if you guys want to roll intelligence checks to try and get it, we can do that. <laughs> I still want to do it. I'm just okay. having fun. I just thought it was a cool I'm idea. I'm just playing with it I now. forgot it was a strange show. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I sent a picture to the chat. Okay. So. I'll try and produce it while you... This one has to be the middle. At least it's trying to send a picture yeah, to the chat. Trying. Well... You might be having trouble. There it is. Okay. Send it. Mm, that's what I thought. So they're all in the center. Yeah, should be like that, and then this one's going to be in the middle. Is what it would be. But, that's uh, the shape they're trying to replicate. Let's see. Have to have this one in the middle. Did you show our viewers? Mm -hmm. Fiddle with it because I, I can tell you want to solve it. I rolled a two. Oh. <laughs> Someone else want to try. Yeah. So Let Hunter fiddles with it for like 30 I'll minutes. Pass, and is, but your intelligence is so, so bad. bad. <laughs> That's true. Might as well try though. Does any of us have good intelligence? Nope. I have a plus two. Oh, okay. You're the best thing. Yep. Is Harmony the smartest character? <laughs> uh, Gloriana is not too unintelligent. Good job, guys. All right. So it's only a Let me try. Tides of Chaos said if you want. Yep. <laughs> Let me see the knot. And that's a 13. 13? Uh, <laughs> Let me see the knot. Did Mara try? Okay. Yeah. We I'll all just... want to try, yeah. Alright. Pass it down. <laughs> I would say with, with Harmony's 13, uh, with maybe like an hour and a half of work, just fiddling this pe these pieces <laughs> like together. I just sit down and I just do it. Like, like basically, the, the thing passes from person to person, <laughs> and each person much just, like it's happening right now. Yep, yep, gets frustrated by it and then passes it to the next person. <laughs> um, and time is just slowly passing as the breeze drifts through this courtyard, ringing the stone bells. Uh, but eventually, Harmony manages to get them to click into that knot-like shape. Oh, I see how to do it. I'm very close. It's a tough puzzle. I think I, I see it right now. I, I think I see it too. Okay. We'll give you guys another minute and then we'll move on. <laughs> I okay. mean, we can move on and still be Yeah, we can still move on. <laughs> we just assume and we'll get there. We'll get there. 
So I got it. I'm like, hunter, 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 hunter. And I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'll, and I was shaking, but I'll fit yeah. it in there. And it, it clicks in, and as it clicks in, the gems all light up. Um, and the inlaid gems as well within the stone cube light up. Uh, and you can hear a rumbling coming from the uh, face of the volcano cliff behind this courtyard. Mm -hmm. um, and as you look up, you can see that there's, of course, there's a pathway leading out of this courtyard um, opposite the way you came in. Uh, and you can see that there is a area of the cliff up there that is seemingly rolling to the side and revealing a tunnel inward. Uh, did anything happen with the woman? Nope. Okay. Um, let's all go up to the... I can't like I don't remember her or I know I don't know her right. Uh, no, but she's very clearly of Elder Haven Reach's descent. She's got the same skin tone and eye color. Mm. Okay. But her armor is of like ancient design. I see. So. Okay. So. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. It seemed fun. <laughs> All of Verbal looks like I like that. This one is just beyond any of us. <laughs> I think my concept was skewed because I gave it to my wife to have her solve it and see how fast she did it. She did it in like five minutes. And so I was like... But did you give her the picture? Yeah, she had the picture. Oh, okay. I see. But I guess she's just really good at these things and I should have factored that in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the entrance of the tunnel. Yeah, Don't. so we'll go in there. Okay. Um... As you get up to the entrance of the tunnel, I need to change music. Emily should be here. She likes those wooden puzzle things. <laughs> I was looking to see what she was saying in the chat, but I don't know anything. <laughs> um, She's probably not paying close attention to this. <laughs> So as you go up the steps that lead out of the courtyard exterior, mm -hmm. uh, you come to uh, a hexagonal <laughs> opening in the cliffside itself, where the stone seems to have rolled back, and it reveals a downward sloping tunnel, uh, which seems to have been carved out of the mountain. It's not natural. Um, and it's maybe like 10 feet wide and 10 feet or so tall, and it just delves straight down. Uh, at a steep angle down into the mountain. Hmm. Okay. And into darkness. There's no light in there. You want to lead the way? All right. I'll pull out a torch and light it, and uh, I'll lead the way. Okay. Um, the tunnel... Oh, I think she might have it. I think I'm close. The tunnel. Uh, the tunnel descends... Is that it? It's it! I got it! And it's actually Kate who figured it out, so it's perfect. <laughs> it's just not going because it's oh, stupid. Oh, the thing. suspense! Oh no, it's stuck down here. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Oh, so close. Cool. Okay. I understand. Now I feel like you've got it. You just need to get it to press in, right? Well, no, because see, it's blocking down here. Oh, you're right. Okay, you're a little off. That's fine. All right, let's, let's go. The tunnel descends into <laughs> darkness for 130 feet mm -hmm. before the steep. Um, rounded corridor becomes a more um, like carved out and, and rectangular corridor uh, and becomes a flight of stairs that descend down 20 feet before hitting a wall and turning a corner. Do we notice that like the cave walls and stuff are is it like is it all natural or is it like marble? It's all or carved. It, it's all carved um, out. Okay. And as you sort of shine the light from the torch on the mm -hmm. cave wall. Uh, you can see that the cave wall depicts pictures of these great spirits, the bird, the turtle, the tiger, and the dragon, uh, living amongst people and mm -hmm. protecting them. So I think Hunter's like kind of going slow, and he's kind of like running his hand along the wall and like looking at it. Mm -hmm. And uh, right. it shows sort of like the regions transforming to match their seasons and things like that. Yeah. Uh, it all matches things you would have seen carved in temples and things like that back home. You got it? I think so. I think so. I think so. No, please. <laughs> One time. Yay! 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 Take that, bitches! Uh, and so that is the not like shit that we're <laughs> testing. There you go. 
I think we all roll intelligence for that. Yeah. Well, it did take us like an hour. <laughs> it didn't take an hour. I mean, in game it did. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sorry. You want me to take it apart so you can do it? <laughs> she kept going, let me try, let me try. I'm like, hold on, hold on, I almost got it. Can I see it? Uh, so yeah, like it, it reaches to a point where it's stairs going downward, and then it turns a corner to the left. Is it getting colder? Uh, no, if anything, it's getting warmer. Oh, wait. Uh, how, how wide is this tunnel? Something like 10 feet or so. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll follow him next to Hunter. Okay. And get my sword out, because it sounds like we're about to face a really tough challenge. And I don't want to be caught up without my sword out. Okay. Uh, so as you turn the corner, there's basically a landing that you've come onto, uh, and then from going down from that landing is another set of stairs, uh, except it's around that corner. So basically, you go straight for a while, and then you turn left around a corner, and then go down some more stairs, down into another <coughs> long stone hallway. Uh, and this stone hallway um, goes on for about 90 feet before you can see just on the edge of your torchlight another set of stairways going downward. Are we below the earth at this point? 120 feet. What, well, we had to go up. 130, so. 130 feet, and then we went another 90 feet. Yeah, we had to go up the mountain to go down it, right? That's so. true. I mean, we might as well keep going. Yeah. Nowhere you else. naughty girl. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you come to that downward stairway at the end of that 90-foot hallway, uh, and then it goes down to another landing, uh, at which point you can see that it turns a corner again, and then another stairway goes downward from there. Um, and as you descend that stairway, uh, you find yourself in another similarly long hallway, maybe like 100 feet or so. Okay, this um, is too much. Let's go back. Why? No, okay, what? <laughs> I didn't actually that. Okay. So I'm what scared. What are you talking about? I'm shaking in my boots. <laughs> I still hold the Oh, the thing. hallway was 90 feet uh, Yeah, long. you are. Basically, in this darkness, we're just hearing whispers from beyond the torchlight. And they're very indistinct. They don't resemble anything you've seen or heard before, but it's just... And you can't quite make out what they're saying, but it's like the paranoia is setting in, and you're wondering, are they talking about me? Mm. Or what we're are probably coming up to the last hour or so, because we took the long rest. It took two hours to get here. Mm -hmm. We spent all that time in... We went from the no, it's only five hours. to the shrine. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so yeah, probably as you're rounding around this corner, you would be getting to the edge of the hallucinations and the whispers kind of fade off into silence. Oh, I forgot what silence sounds like. Chattering this intensifies. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only halfway there. <laughs> so another 100-foot corridor passes, and you come to another set of 20-foot stairs Are leading downward. Blank corridors? Are, are they like dirt or uh, They're stone? carved out of stone. Stone? Harmony, when this is over, I really want you to teleport us out because I don't want to go back up all the stairs. Well, as long as we don't have to go pick up anyone because Gloriana's here, I can yeah. just teleport us straight to Redwater. Sounds good to me. Well, that's true, and that's a good point. Uh, I don't mind going through? to Redwater. Yeah, because remember, we're going to have to come back and get the ship and take we to go, go back the to the reaches. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we might as well just leave it here. Okay. Um, so as you turn, you go down those stairs, there's another landing, and it turns another corner, and then there's another set of stairs going downward. And Echo! It echoes both up and down. <laughs> just echo, 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 echo. <laughs> Um, that was awesome. You come into, for the first time, something different. Um, there is this section of corridor at the base of the stairs, um, now that you've turned the corner across the landing and, and gone down those stairs, uh, you come across basically a section of this tunnel that has either collapsed into a uh, boiling lake below or was intentionally dug out that way. Um, because there is basically this, this uh, 20 or 30 foot drop down into what looks like boiling hot water and you can just hear it kind of bubbling and popping. Wow. Um, and then suspended as if by some magical force above the uh, boiling water is a series of uh, platforms, like uh, 10 foot by 10 foot, like 10 foot radius 
or not radius, uh, diameter discs above the uh, boiling water. And they're all spaced like 10 feet apart. That's terrifying. Did you bring Moonlight Sparkle down here with us? No. Moonlight Sparkle's wingspan would not, would not even fit. Damn. I have some magnetic rope. What, wait, are we trying to cross? That's true. I mean, yeah, you can see basically maybe like across this like 70 foot expanse with this. There's just a, a bunch series of discs. discs. Cool. Yeah. You can see that the tunnel continues on the other side. I mean, luckily I we can all fly. I can I can jump across these without any problem. I'm fine. You, you can fly two people with your dagger. So, is there a problem? Okay. But well, what about Gloriana? I mean, I can carry you easy enough. And then I'll Gloriana can. Gloriana, would you like? Do you carry it? I don't know if that's. Carry or fly by with <laughs> Mara's magic? Uh, I don't I don't mind being carried, but it also doesn't look like a distance I couldn't jump, to be honest. With a good running start, it should be possible. If they're not, you know, frictionless surfaces. <laughs> or trapped in some Have way. Have you encountered a good number of frictionless surfaces in your time adventure? I had a really crazy dream if about so, I, I need to, If so, I need to interview you and hear what that was like. Because I had a really crazy that dream. That could be a good Tell me about fantasy physics. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Really crazy dream about well, that one. Well, maybe I can go first, and worst case is I'll just fly up if something gives or something. All right. I mean, right. I can always polymorph myself into something that can fly too. Like there are ways. Or Mara can, since she actually has fly. Yeah, but she can only cast that once a day, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. On two people. Whereas so if she casts. So if she casts on two people. You fly, and then you polymorph, and I jump. We're all covered. That's true. That's true. But we can try it without the use of magic first, so we can retain that if we want to. Yeah, that can be like a, a yeah. you know, last resort. So if I did try to lasso them, would they come closer together? Uh, you could try. Um, that was my idea, to bring mm -hmm. closer well, and walk across it and then move the other one around. So have we gone so down? It like it. Just well, it would, if you pull one, it clarify. would pull apart from the next one though, right? So. Well, if we're, if we're on, my idea was if we're on the side, we pull one closer, we walk on it, we pull the next one closer. But then you're increasing then, the gap until the very end. But then, then you pull yourself. But then the one behind that we leave, I'll lasso around like this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that sounds really complicated. That sounds, yeah, more work than it's... Let's just have someone okay. go first. Yeah, I'll go first. Uh, so. All right. So, wait, I, I need to understand. We came down a staircase, or just at the end of a path? Oh, you've come down... I mean, I know we've come a long, long way, but like this particular... Yeah, corridor. you came down a staircase, and the staircase ends, and then ends there's abruptly. this... Yeah. And there's a drop to the Like 20 water. or 30 feet to the But the water. platforms are up here, where mm -hmm. we are? But okay. they're like your same level. Okay. So I'll, I'll kick my boots out and make sure that they're still working okay. Yep, a little, a little bit of fire comes out. Fire. All right, here we go, and then I'll just... Shaky fire. Make a running start, and then I'll... Go on to the first disc, jump yep. to the next one. With your strength score, you can easily make it to the first disc with a long inch, with a long jump, uh, and then another long jump. You hop across the boiling ravine to the next disc, okay. and get another running start, and then hop to the third, and then another running start, hop to the fourth, and you are on the other side. Okay, and then I'll wave back, be like, no problem. nothing special. And then also, um, do we know what the intervals are for when the, the geyser Oh, erupts? the volcano? Yeah. Uh, it seemed kind of random. Okay, were there any tells or anything? Uh, the earth starts to rumble before it happens. Okay, so no rumbling, so I think we're okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, I'll pick up Gloriana and follow. Yep, and you can probably do two or three discs at a time, to be honest. <laughs> um, Show off. And she sort of lets out a woo woo as you get going, but <laughs> uh, she lets it happen, and uh, you guys manage to get to the other side as well. Yes. Well, okay. uh, I'll go. Go do ahead. You want, do you want to do it yourself, or do you want me to carry you? <laughs> and you're little. I'm little, but I'm pretty strong. I might be able to make it. I mean, you and I have the same strength. Which is? Twelve. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, you guys, uh, looking at the distance, you think that it's a distance you could probably it's, make. It's not too bad. I mean, as long as it's not... It doesn't look like they're slippery, so... Okay. I'll be fine. I'm so, on. Go ahead, and I'll be ready to cast something on you if you fall. Okay. Uh, Mara goes first, she gets the running jump and hops to one, hops to the next, hops to the third, and then you're on the other side. No problem. Seems too easy. <laughs> well, I'm very good at athletics. Right. I'm gonna kick the dirt back, like, mm -hmm. get ready to go, and then 
run and jump. Same thing, one fluid motion. You come out a little bit winded, but you made it. That was terrifying. Huh, that was underwhelming. <laughs> uh, and then you're on another set of stairways going downward. It comes to a uh, landing, and then a corner to turn, and then another set of stairs going downward. Um, let me see if there's anything special about the hallway that you come into. Is there a monkey statue that's going to yell infidels at us pretty soon? <laughs> uh, no. But <laughs> okay. as you bring the torch into this hallway, you yeah. can see that from one section, it's like a ten foot hallway, but you can see that there's a like a narrow, like three foot wide pathway that kind of wends its way through the hallway. Three foot wide? That yeah. You said? yeah, yeah. So we have to like squeeze through? Well, no, I mean, the hallway is 10 foot wide, but there's oh, like foot. carved into the stone, there is okay. a pathway that seems like three feet oh, wide I that see. just kind of wends its way through the hallway. Okay. Uh, okay. And then on the sides of the hallway, you can see, uh, unlike the smooth carved stone before, there are stone uh, turtle heads, like large stone turtle heads carved into the walls at opposite sides at intervals. Mm. If only Naldria were here, she could tell us a lot about the stonework. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright. So, does the stone represent anything special, like the heads of the, or are they just... They're very clearly heads? turtle heads. I'm going to post okay. each symbolic. turtle head with my mage hand as we pass. Okay. Just in the eye. Okay. Are you walking on the path, or are you walking off the path? What's your plan? Oh, so it diverges? Uh, there's what looks as you look at the like the stone floor of this section. Uh -huh. uh, there's a pathway that sort of wends its way. Right, but it's in the middle of the corridor. Yeah, but it, it kind of goes back and forth from side to side. Is it made of the same material? It's not. Paved it looks with like anything? it's a slightly different material to sort of distinguish the pathway, but. Uh, can I check it for traps? Yeah, uh, you could roll an investigation check. Fourteen. Um, you would notice that the stone beaks of the turtles look like they can maybe slide down and slide back up. Hey, Hunter. Come here. Yeah? Look at that turtle's mouth. I'll look at the turtle's mouth. It like looks like it would open. Yeah, you, you think, can notice the same thing. Do you, think uh. that, do you think that we should just open it and see what happens? <laughs> maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> What's maybe the we pathway going to fill with? Stay to the path. Path. Or stay off the path. I mean, which, which path? Which path? Something. There's a stone path and there's a non-stone path. Is it the floor is lava? Is that what we're playing? I mean, this path looks a lot more fun. This one. But, I don't know. Hmm. I was looking more for, like, stones that you step on that make something but, happen. Yeah, yeah you don't is see going to go path. forward and walk just on the path. Just on the path? Yeah, yeah you walk kind of slowly, like the, yeah. step by step and uh, end up on the other side of this, um, how long is this hallway? 80 foot hallway. Well, See, so sometimes it's easier just to walk the correct path than to mess with everything you see along the way. I'm gonna poke each turtle in the eye as I follow the wavy path. Mm -hmm. yeah, with the, my mage hand. The mage hand kind of just pokes into the like eye, this. but it doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> I think you're gonna like honk the nose or something. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just follow. Okay. And then uh, when everybody's on the other side, I'm gonna use telekinesis to open one of the mouths. <laughs> okay. Just um, to see what happens. There, it, you hear like a grinding of stone, like it's resisting the effect, but you can move a lot of weight and it just <laughs> grinds open uh, and a little bit of steam wafts out of it. Oh. And then it, as soon as you let go of the telekinetic effect, it <laughs> grinds back up. That would have hurt. Mm -hmm. Alright. Onward. On we go. Um, so you come to another set of stairways that uh, goes down 20 feet to a landing and then down another 20 feet to a landing, um, or to a hallway rather. And this hallway seems, to, the hallways seem to be getting shorter as you're going down. This one's maybe like 50 feet. Um, and you can see in this hallway, uh, it's carved out, it's in that like square shape again instead of the circular shape. Um, and in the ceiling, at intervals, there are metal hatches. Like, there's three of them, one every ten feet or so, down the hallway. And they seem to be closed up there. No locks or anything. Hey, you should them. send your snake up there and you can spy. Okay, so 
pick it up. Well, there's no like visible openings in them. They seem to be like sealed shut metal doors. But you you're just telling us that they could be opened. Yeah, it looks like there's a seam in the middle. Okay. So the doors might swing down or, or and slide to the side. Or something. And probably don't walls. boiling hot water on us. Yeah. No levers on the walls to trip it or anything. Nope. Okay. Uh, you could roll an investigation check to look for something that might trigger it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> twelve. Uh, minus two. You don't see any outward mechanisms that might trigger these and cause them to open. Okay. There's no markings on the floor like there was in the previous chamber. Uh, like a path, you mean? Yeah. No, but um, looking at the floor, why don't you make a perception check? Perception or investigation? Well, either or, whichever's higher. Uh, I think they're both just as bad. I know perception's slightly better. At 12. Um, looking at the floor there and the walls, especially under the grates, there are signs of like some erosion mm-hmm. on the walls and the floor underneath the grates. Okay. That doesn't seem to be present in between them. Can we stay out from under the grates as we travel through the room, or is there just not space? The for grates it's not space. The they're grates. They're not vents. So it's like it's a. Uh, I guess it's more like a closed metal door, like a hatch. Yeah. Okay. Um, and no, they, they seem to cover the hallway entirely. Uh, They're like 10 foot. So well, the hallway. I can keep it shut, and you guys can just run through. It's just fun. Yeah. yeah. I, right. can, I can hold it shut. Okay. And, and there's space for us between? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Hold it for us when shut. We'll go through. And then we'll repeat the process after. Mm-hmm. As Harmony, you focus your telekinetic grip, and people <laughs> begin to duck underneath. You don't feel any... You don't feel it trying to open or anything like that, but you're ready in case it does, and uh, everyone gets through the first one. Okay, take two. Same thing, everyone runs yeah. forward. You don't feel it trying to open, but... I don't think it's opening, you guys. We might be good, but I'll hold it just in case. There's three of them? Mm-hmm, there's okay. a third one. Last one. Mm-hmm. Same thing, everyone runs through. Gloriana like, turns to the rest of you and says, I've been in a lot of... Uh, dangerous um, dungeons or, or whatever you would call this, but uh, this one doesn't seem as, as, as dangerous as it should Was be. This is supposed to be the worst of the, of the four Maybe times? we because we passed the test? Maybe. And I keep expecting something terrible to happen, but it never does. Maybe it's to keep us in instead of keep us out. Yeah, maybe they'll all trigger when we're trying to run out. Well, for more reason why I don't think we should run out. Mm. Um... And you sort of have this conversation as you're descending another. Uh, where are we? In this spot. Uh, 20 feet down to a landing, mm-hmm. and then there's another stairway that goes down another 20 feet to a 60 foot hallway. Um, How many has this been now? I've lost count. A lot. Same. It's been a lot. Um, is it getting hot down here? It is getting very hot as you get down deeper. Um, all of you except for Hunter are sw- and Harmony are sweating. Um, this one just seems to be a 60 foot hallway. There's not much to it really. Um, the floor way, the, the floor here is like um, flagstones rather than a smooth floor like before, but okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, is there like oh, a eleven? Like small... a dozen already. Is there some kind of like small rock on the floor somewhere? Yep. Mm-hmm. I pick one up as we walk, and with my beach hand, right, Harmony was here on the wall with yeah, the rock. Kind of scroll it in, yeah. the horrible screeching noise. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Just with my beach hand as we walk by. Sure. Uh, and you cross this hallway and go down another set of stairs. The next hallway, right, corner. Thaddeus sucks on the wall with my rock. And you come out into a 30 foot uh, cylinder shaped corridor. Um, but it's still made of stone, and you can see uh, light coming from around the next corner, actually. Okay. Hey, 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 guys. Should we, like, try to be all sneaky and stuff now? With him? The sneaking can. That's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Gloria well, says, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sneaky. I could, uh, Creep forward and take a peek if you like. We can send the snake. Yeah, let's send the snake. Send the snake. Okay. Sneaky snake. 
Uh, so you animate your bracelet, and yep. it curls off of you with a hiss and slithers forward uh, down the set of stairways that is ahead of you and around the corner. Um, and then it goes around one more corner into a lit room, um, and it's lit by this sort of uh, incredible... It's the light that you get when um, sunlight shines through like a, a clear pool, you know? And it's that reflecting light that sort of moves with the patterns of the water. Um, the snake comes out onto a small ledge that juts out into what appears to be a giant bubble inside, like like uh, inside a um, boiling lake. Basically, um, there seems to be some sort of magical force field that is holding the water from filling in this bubble, and the uh, platform kind of juts out into the bubble, and then maybe ten feet away from that, there's a pillar which comes up into the bubble from the bottom, upon which stands a precariously placed um, maybe like 20 foot by 20 foot slab of stone. Uh, and then as the snake sort of looks down into like the bottom of the bubble, you can see that the uh, floor of this cavern underneath the water uh, seems to be littered with innumerable um, amounts of gold and treasure. Um, just gold as far as like covers the entire bottom of this cave. Uh, and then the snake watches as, um, hold on, there was something else. Oh, nope, that's it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> harmony, at that harmony is going to go ape. Okay, should I hold her back? I don't yes. need to turn myself into an ape. She is going to go nuts with what's in there. Okay. <laughs> that is like... Hey, don't, quit. don't touch me! I smack <laughs> you with my mage hand <laughs> and my tail. <laughs> Somebody hold her hand. Look, okay, I'm an adult. Us. I can control myself. Oh, promise. What is it? Pinky swear? <laughs> I just remembered something important that I forgot to tell you. Uh, at each of the uh, landing ways, um, there has been what looks to be a, a metal door that could slide out, sort of blocking the landing way. Oh, and you, you can pull it out, like... I would have assumed you would have tried. And it pulls out and then it slides right back in. Okay. Do we have to go through the door is it, a, it is it one way? Like if you inspect it on both sides? No, there's handles on both sides. And if you like close it on one side and you can close it and open on the other mm -hmm. side, there's Are no these, locking yep, mechanism. Yep, we have to go through them. There's no down. locking mechanism. It just slides out and then slowly the slides back. Huh. They can't have that. Okay. We've had to go through them to get yep. them. Okay. They're not just like doors leading to somewhere else mm. no, no. on each landing. It Basically, it closes off the hallway and then slides back slowly. So water. it's still the hallway gets flooded with boiling hot, whatever, magma water. Or water. <laughs> um, it doesn't flood the whole place, that makes sense. Yeah. I okay. have a feeling that we're going to go in there and the bubble's going to pop. That seems unlikely to me. It seems very likely. So it seems the point of the entire, the entire trap of this entire place. But we're, we're the worthy ones. I mean, there's going to be... But there's still the most difficult task ahead of us. But but and they weren't talking about that puzzle. It's going to be some kind of trial, not just a plain old death trap. Yeah. But, and, but if we that? fail the death trap, the bubble's going to pop. That's probably true. That's what I meant. Well, I, that's what I've been what saying. What it sounded like time. you were saying is that as, as soon as we stepped in there, the bubble's going to pop. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. Well, I was hoping instead of a, a slab on the pedestal, I was hoping that it was going to be the compass. Right. <laughs> Well, Anyways. we should go investigate. Yeah, we should check it out. Uh, as soon as you all kind of get onto this platform that ejects over the... Um, uh, the I'm not going inside the bubble. Okay, so you're kind of standing at the edge of it? I'll watch from, from outside. Okay. Um, so you're kind of at the foot of the staircase. Right. Um, as you're all on this platform, or in Harmony's case, a little bit back... Um, you hear a rumbling sound uh -oh. from oh, shit. the ground, uh, and you look down at the, the treasure hoard at the bottom of the uh, boiling lake, and you can see a shape, a dark shape, beginning to move oh, in the water. Oh, and it rears up out of the water, and you can't quite distinguish it at first until 
a uh, gargantuan head pops through the bubble, um, and it's got that beaked snapping turtle uh, visage, um, except it is on a scale that is unbelievable. Uh, and um, you can see the dark shape that is behind it must be absolutely massive. And as this head pops through the bubble, uh, you hear a rumbling sound come from its throat, and it says, mm, At last, after many years, someone has come to find the way to the east. And then it rumbles again in its throat, and it says, Well then, if you would claim the compass, then we must battle. And uh, that's where we'll pick up next week. Oh, as a, a door behind Harmony... <laughs> Not in front of me, but behind me. Shut. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, so that's where we'll pick up next week with the battle against the Guardian of the Compass. Fuck! I'm trembling with fear right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yep, yeah, and we'll see what happens then. Should be fun. Uh, this is well, exactly where I wanted it. to get to this week, so it's perfect cool, timing. Cool. Well, if it's another water one, maybe lightning will be good against it, too. <laughs> you never know. Uh, so if you stuck with us through the end. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate it. Um, we'll be back Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific time for the battle against the uh, black-shelled guardian of this compass. Um, and uh, yeah, should be exciting. So we hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.